So here's an interesting question. Someone writes, how come some people can eat anything they want and have the risk factors and don't get osteoporosis? So this person uh, who writes this question, I would challenge them to see what risk factors are they talking about? And are they talking about people who've reached a ripe old age? Because osteoporosis, you know, often doesn't develop into later life. And I always say osteoporosis is a concern for you only if you plan to live a long time. If you plan to die at 70 or 80, well, don't worry about it because it probably won't, you probably won't. The average hip fracture occurs at 80. The average person is dead by 80. So it's this issue of bone health is for those who want to live a life long time and be, and be active all the while. You see, when you have a series of factors that are damaging bone, eventually the camel, the last straw comes, it breaks the camel's back. If a person does not fracture, then you'd say, that's great. They have a good genetic constitution. They have very few risk factors. I would question the person who has a lot of risk factors but doesn't fracture. And it may be because they take special care not to fall. Because what's the number one cause of fracture? It's falling. And so there's a lot of factors involved there. Uh, it's never good to compare ourselves to others, though, because that's a waste of time. Look and see what I can do. What's my family history? What risk factors am I indulging in as far as my diet, my exercise pattern, my stress? What can I do to reduce my risk factors? How can I get all those nutrients in line? How can I get my pH in line? How can I do the exercise that builds muscle? And good luck to the person that has many risk factors and doesn't fracture.